Throughout this road trip, we have been exploring the outdoors. And right now, we are at Southern Forest World, and I'm with Bertha to learn about what we are seeing outdoors. And this place is truly remarkable. I had the opportunity to walk around a little bit. And stay tuned because there is something that you will not want to miss. It's kind of something that you are known for. But Bertha, can you just give an overview of what this place is all about? This place is we like to teach about the forest, about what the history of it is and how we it's so important, how, what the uses of our wood products are and how we need to take care of them. And another big part of it is conservation, making yes. sure that you're educating people that come through and they get a really understanding of the environment, correct? Correct. And when you walk around, I see different exhibits that really show the forestry and identifying different trees that are out there because let's face it, it's beautiful to explore, but a lot of times you just don't know what you're looking at. That's right. And we have three different kinds of the pine trees here on our site right here. Oh, that's great. So you could even just explore the grounds here to get an idea of what's out yes. the doors. And then this exhibit here with this tree, what exactly are you showcasing here? There are several floors. Okay, this tree is really why the tree is here is because it has a staircase in it. It is one of our staircases that goes to the top floor. And then this bottom floor here, you're talking about different types of forestry. And then what about the different levels? There's a lot of exhibits here. Yes. Uh, upstairs we have uh, one shows the process of making paper. We have some old chainsaws. We have a piece of one tree that was over 400 years old that is predated. It was here when people started coming over to this before it was the United States to this land, but it was also still standing when the first man walked on the moon. Wow. And then we show some of the products that uh, comes from the trees. Some of them are really surprising. People just don't think that when they're using these products that it is has anything to do with the forest. So obviously you come here and learn a lot about nature, but also some ties to history, which is very cool. Now again, something that you are known for that I learned today, it's kind of a unique story. We could walk right over here. So the exhibit that you see in this log. So Bertha, walk me through. What, what exactly are we seeing here? This tree, they were clear cutting. They cut this tree down. Once it was cut down, it was sawed up, already loaded. And the guy got off to check uh, his or check to make sure he was loading it right. And this is what he found in the tree. So a mummified dog. How did the dog get caught in there? How do they think? They think that there was a hole down somewhere at the lower part of the tree. He got in it because he had been chasing something. Whatever it was went in the tree and he went in after it. And then what about the, the date? Because it's been mummified, so it's been in there for some time. This tree was cut down in 1980. They think he had been in here for about 20 years, and they think he was a four-year-old hound when he got stuck. So that would put him 64 this year. And after he got here, they decided he needed a name, so they held a contest. So his name is Stucky. Stucky. Yes. <laughs> well, there you have it there, Stucky. We're going to shut the door on that all together there. It's sad, but it's also science and nature kind of working together. So very yes. unique, very interesting. Now, if people want to learn more about this place, how can they do that? Uh, on the website, they can go on southernforestworld.com, all in lowercase letters. Uh, if they need to email me, southernforestworld at gmail.com. All right, Bertha, thank you so much for and, all your time and information. And we are located at 1440 North Augusta Avenue, Waycross, Georgia. And a lot of people have not heard about us. <laughs> well, there you go. Temperatures are chilly in the 60s, feeling even chillier because of northeasterly winds closer to 20 miles per hour. We'll take a look at where the wind gusts will be the worst and when we'll finally start to warm up. It does include the weekend forecast coming up on News for Jacks at noon. I had a lady texting and driving on Slammin'